What's going on everybody? Welcome back once again to the channel where today we have something really cool. A battle royale between Intel and AMD. On the Intel side of things, we have Intel's eighth generation 8600K CPU. Six cores, six threads, baby. And on the AMD side of things, we see the Ryzen 5 1600X with six cores and 12 threads. Now, does 12 threads though equal better performance at the end of the day? Well, let's first check out our test systems check out those scores and see at the end of the day who's the clear winner. For you folks who follow the channel, you guys have probably seen the test system that we use for the 1600X test results. We built the system a little while back and if you guys wanna check out that video, we'll have a link below. But here's a list of the parts that we actually use in that system for those of you who want to know. On the Intel side of things, we also made a video showing you guys all the different parts that we used in that system. You can see those parts listed right here, but we'll also have a link below if you wanna check out that video. Now, if you're wondering what the actual prices of these systems were, they're very, very close. Now, obviously on the 1600X, we had to put it in a case and everything because that was a total build. But if you're just talking about the motherboard, the memory and CPU and all that stuff, on the Intel side of things, it's gonna be about $60 more expensive. Now, that's not really that much whatsoever, I don't feel, but if you guys out there think it's a deal breaker, let me know down below. Now, with that said though, let's jump in and let's check out the performance and gaming scores with these two CPUs, so let the battle begin.
As far as temperatures go, at the lowest settings, the Intel CPU actually ran a little bit hotter. But at the hottest temperatures, you guys can see that the AMD does run a few degrees hotter than the Intel comparison. All right, tech fans, there you guys have it. The numbers, they just don't lie. Now, it's very obvious that the 1600X is a very, very good competitor. It has good scores, and although it runs just a little bit hotter than the Intel CPU, it's $50 less in price. But at the end of the day, if you just take the raw numbers, you guys can see that the i5-8600K really is the clear winner. It gets better gaming scores, it gets better multiprocessor scores. So overall, at the end of the day, I have to say that that is the winner between this battle. So if $50 is a big important thing to you and you're only going to buy an AMD CPU and you don't care about Intel whatsoever because you've got something against them or whatever, then obviously you're probably not going to buy the Intel CPU. But if you're a person like me and you take technology as it is, just at face value, not caring about politics, not caring about jack diddly except for the performance, then you have to admit that the i5-8600K, it just wins. Now, I know there's gonna be crazy fanboys out there like saying all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, um, this is wrong, that's wrong, but obviously it's not. I try to keep everything as even as possible. The systems are very much equal in price and the parts and everything in them. So it's a very, very equal battle. So there you guys have it, man. At the end of the day, I have to say, for the price, the performance, the i5-8600K is a clear winner in today's battle. Like I said before, folks, all of the information about the parts that we used and everything else will be down below that like button. Hopefully you guys, you like this presentation and we hope to see you guys back here for more tech on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace.